Many communities proudly display their sculpture mascots. Driving around, you'll see Paul Bunyan, the loon, and yes, even the world's largest turkey. Well, get ready to set sail for Detroit Lakes and see what you're going to find on the Detroit Lakes public beach. Growing up in Detroit Lakes, um, the sailboat was a symbol in town. It was on the senior high school, it's on the water tower, it's on the police cars, it's on the city vehicles, and it's on the chamber office. I just felt traveling and going places in my life, it'd be kind of cool that our town would have a symbol so when people came to our town that they would have a place to come and have their picture taken like I've enjoyed many places that I've traveled to. We started it seven years ago and um, it's done by the community, you know, the people in the community working together, which is important in any project. I got a phone call from Jolene, uh, Jolene and, and she just uh, kind of caught me off guard because I was kind of new in the town. I'd only I uh, came into Detroit Lakes in 1999 and she asked if I wanted to design, help design the uh, new central piece for uh, City of Detroit Lakes to the chamber. And I sat down and uh, sketched out sails. Uh, it's a pair of sails that'll be about 12 and a half feet high uh, on an elliptical base that's 11 by 14 feet um, at a comfortable height for people to sit on while they're at the beach. Uh, kids can play on it and walk around it but they can't climb up at it so we kept the angles safe. Through Design America Children's Hospital, I met some other fabulous metalsmiths and workers called Bull Brothers. That's Brad and Corey Bull out of Jamestown, North Dakota. And so they took it on to, to fabricate it, and this would be fabricated out of uh, steel and then covered with uh, bronze. Have travel in different places like in Vegas and Winnipeg, you see what bronze, you know, and bronze is a beautiful sculpture that lasts for years and, and it changes and due to the weather and stuff and the bronze is really cool. And the sails, they, they did exactly to my, you know, to the model and to specifications and to the specifications of what is needed for safety, for um, wind resistance and safety and structural integrity for public use so nobody will get hurt on it or nor will it fall over in any severe weather conditions. And from there they, they uh, welded up the stainless, or the steel beam or the, the mast and the boom and then the sails and they build like a rib sections on the inside so it's ribbed and then they put the uh, steel sheeting over the top of that and then they'll sand and grind it and then um, sandblast it and then they'll cover it with this bronze. They designed uh, the steel base that would go inside that the uh, um, Bristolin construction would then when they're building the base um, would embed first and then, they're, then they have a secondary base that the sails are actually built to and welded to. We wanted it to be funded as a city, as a public funded project, not one entity would fund it or pay for it. It was sponsored and put together by the community. Uh, and so we designed bricks in, 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 in the design concept on the base to, rep, to reflect everybody who's invested in their community with the arts. And uh, so we came up with a pattern of, of bricks. Now seven years ago that was our intentions. And, Another aspect of how to raise money was to, to do uh, the Sunny and DL Committee, which, is, which was a takeoff on the College of Chicago. The Sunny and DL Project was the name of the project. We started selling them and we had difficulty at first. They were about $1,500 each, or they were $1,500 each. And we only sold a couple the first week or two and then we got started. And we had a goal of 20 fish and we ended up selling 50. So we, we were really pleased with, uh, with the outcome. We raised about half the funds for the sailboat sculpture. When we figured it out and we figured we could get this project done in six months, the sailboat of the bricks and the sunfish plaques became very easy. And in fact, it became so easy that we were sold out and we were turning people away, you know, this last month and month and a half. The placement of the sails is going to be at the end of, on the south end of Washington Avenue on the beach. So when you come down driving south, on, on Washington Avenue, you will see the sails directly off in, on the beach in front of the lake. So the sails will have the look of being on the water. And part of the design also is within the base. We worked with Oltec engineers with the uh, lighting specialists to um, we're going to put in uh, ground lights to shine it, so it'll be lit up 24 hours a day. Uh, and on the base, also written on the, on the two sides, 
is uh, Detroit Lakes right in there. So for any photo opportunity, you can see the word Detroit Lakes. I think this will just be an accent piece to the pavilion, the beach, and, and for tourists and locals to come down and enjoy it. Art is for everybody, and if it's community art like that, anybody can see it and enjoy it. And they were able to do that with the fish, and now they're going to be able to do that with the sailboat. Because, you know, it's hard work to, you know, the fundraising and putting it up in the hours, everybody's donated. You know, people in the community is only as strong as the people are willing to work together and make it that way. It's, it's really important town pride. It's teamwork. It's getting many people's ideas and working it together and, and making it to be a really cool project.